chances. Two pins to win in the 10th frame is all uh, Kyle Troop needs. That's Neil Simonson strikes out. Take a look right there. That's all you need to see. It's over. Yeah, it's been over. Kyle knows it. Simonson knows it. This crowd knows it. He won this guy. I've been watching that guy for years. First time. That's bad for this guy. Well, this guy's screaming. He was making noises. Now he's just shaking. The tanks when they're nice and clean. Yeah, it's still cloudy, but getting ready for some new fish this next weekend. Oh, you okay, Ricky? You Ricky, you all right? You all right, buddy? He's all shaking and everything. He's dreaming. There it is, man. Not. Before Belmonte, and now he's defeating Anthony Simonson. A murderer's row, and perhaps the greatest step ladder in the history of this play. And at the top of the ladder will be Kyle Troop. I've always felt that the U.S. Open is the hardest tournament to ever win on the PBA Tour. One patterns. Some, some crazy shots thrown, some scores I never thought I would have seen. But Kyle Troop was able to keep it together. And now for the presentation of the trophy and the check and the green jacket. Here is Kimberly with our champion, Kyle Troop. Kyle, you waited a long time for this, but let's start with that jacket right there. Jay Derrickman, USBC Board of Directors, please do the honors. Come. <laughs> Yeah. Bad. What a few matches this was. Uh, let's talk about the fact that you have green on. Did you put this to an existence? Put it in the universe out there that you wanted this US Open win? I sure did, Kimberly. I'm a firm believer in speaking things into existence. I believe I wore this outfit on practice day, and I said I was going to wear green for Sunday to get my green jacket. And uh, you know, it's hard to believe, but I know I bowled very well today, and uh, you know, feel like I, one of my reps. He told me, "Take what you want." You know, the winners, they take what they want, and the losers, they, they wait for it. So, uh, thank you, Jim. We took what we wanted today. You absolutely did. And you both very well, just like you said. But at any point, did you feel like you were actually being tested? Because you made it look almost easy, I think. Um, I didn't quite catch 
your whole question, but I felt confident. I felt like I was seeing the picture from the first shot of the first match. Uh, my reps, my storm team here, you know, I was kind of committed to the thing, but, you know, the lanes were a little tricky, I guess. And they were like, hey, you're going to hook it. And I'm like, all right, you know, we make good decisions and we trust in one another. And, uh, you know, I kept telling myself, quiet mind, quiet body, slow feet. Just like that. And that seemed to work out for you. But let's talk about the fact that this crowd is super excited that you walk away with this U.S. Open and then your dad, Guppy, over there. I saw him over there crying. What's it mean to you to win from your dad and your new fiance? Congratulations on that. Uh, to win in front of Guppy is a blessing every time. Uh, this also means I did something else that he didn't do. Uh, he did finish second to Mark Ross in the U.S. Open at 84, but Gup, we got an eagle coming home now. And Brianna, Caleb, Aubrey, I love you guys. Uh, some other friends here, Daryl, Lynn, Mike, Liz. Uh, this is amazing. And then the fans of Indy, I love you guys. And one final question, Kyle. As it sounds, you are a U.S. Open winner. That sounds amazing. Thing. I've got to thank my sponsors, Storm, Ball 5, Vice, Raise Eyewear, Blaine Talk, Bowler X, all you guys, we do this for one another. Thank y'all. Congratulations, 2024 U.S. Open winner, Kyle True. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you very much. No way you can't feel it. Nothing but joy here right now. Yeah, I mean, he was such class at the end. And he says all the right things, but you know what? He felt great today. He didn't seem to have any of the problems that anybody else had. He fought right through it. He earned it. Yeah, 100%. He took advantage of the mistakes that were left on the deck by others and plowed right through them. Our 2024 PBA Tour coverage continues Saturday night live at Eastern on FS1. It's a PBA Tour Classic from the Larry Mount Prospect to Mount Prospect. It is the best in the business, period. And what a treat to be around these incredible people. For Randy Peterson, I love you, man. Kimberly Fessler and our entire crew, I'm Dave Lamont. You have been watching Kyle Troop win the U.S. Open, the PBA on Fox.